Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Welcome back to my channel. In this week's vlog, I'm going to be taking y'all with me as I run my sugar baby errands. I'm in the middle of upgrading my lifestyle and I want to bring y'all with me. Today I'm going to get my lashes done. I'm walking on Mara right now. So if you want to see how it is, let's get started. Come on, let's go this way. So it's a pretty normal day. Nothing really crazy is going on. I have completely sold out of pretty much everything on my website. So that's why I'm not working right now. I've been off for the past couple days. Well, not just off, like not doing anything, but I've been restocking my store and getting everything set back up. Like they just cleaned up all this poop and somebody like literally just Oh, I swear people out here get on my nerves. So, yeah, my store is completely sold out. So I'm not like just sitting around not doing anything. I'm getting new inventory for my store. I I just stocked up Punani Box last night. Well, I ordered everything last night for Punani Box. I ordered everything for Champagne Wasted. I ordered all the rest of my tubes for Sugar Baby Kisses. I restocked all my hair for Sugar Baby Hair. And today I'm gonna order the rest of my masks for my exquisite mask line. So it's very important when you're running a business too. Yes, you can focus on one thing if you're selling something, but for me, I've noticed it's really important to have different things to sell because not everybody's just gonna want that one thing that you have. So that's why my store was booming because I didn't just have hair, I didn't just have lip gloss, I have a lot of things you can purchase and i'm also adding a clothing line to my website soon it's gonna be a sugar baby merch y'all are gonna love it but let me pick up this shit and get finished all right so we're back inside i don't put my dog's leashes up. I fed them, I gave them some water. Now it's time for me to get my mind right, baby. When I say it's never too early to get your drink on. I have some tequila left over from yesterday. I took some tequila. Well, this is vodka, I believe. Yeah, this is vodka, I think. I don't know, I don't remember. My eyebrows kind of looking kind of good. This one looks really good. Like, whoa, like child. Who gave birth to you? And this one is like, hold on, baby girl, we almost there. We're about to jaywalk, but we need to walk straight. So, I'm about to take my shot to listen to Melly. These bitches don't like me. They beat me, daddy, keep me icy. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> Now that we got turned up, I'm gonna hop in the shower real quick and rinse off. I'm done getting dressed. I'm headed to my eyelash appointment. I'm super excited because she's literally like the number one in Dallas. She does all of the hot girls eyelashes out here. So I'm really excited to see how she does. I'm sure they're gonna come out absolutely great. I'm paying good money and I'm even going to tip her. That way when I hit her up, she knows, yo, one of my best customers hit me up. I gotta take care of her. So, yeah. But I'm gonna head over here, get this done, and I'm gonna check in with y'all when I'm finished. Okay, so I'm getting my food, and I'm feeling a little bit better about my lashes. I think it's just something I have to get used to. I think I was expecting, like, I'm very, very picky, and I was just expecting something specific.
shopping and the drinks I'm making us brownies with a little sauce sauce in them and it is gonna be so dope I cannot wait for y'all to be a part of this whole weekend it's gonna be super bougie super lit all that and above oh because I need to give me something to wear because girl I done grew out of everything I gained some weight as y'all know and um so I'm not, and I'm also, I'm also not trying to get too many items because I know I'm gonna have surgery soon. My surgery got pushed in November, so I'm also not trying to like keep eating a lot and gain too much weight because I don't want to just be walking around fat till November. So I'm slimming down a little bit right now, and I'm gonna get back to gaining weight here in like like two months before my surgery. Yeah, so my lashes are cute kind of start to grow into them you know start to like them i bought me some stacy lash glue mainly because i don't want my lashes to start coming like just in case they start coming off or whatever i can go and touch them up i'm sorry i, I haven't really been vlogging as much as i should be the main reason is because I'm getting myself together. I've been so worried about everyone else and getting everyone else together and getting everyone on their game. Like it's come to a point where I'm walking around looking like a bum 24 seven and I'm not a bum. So I shouldn't be walking around looking like a bum. I've decided to take a step back and get myself together, get my nails done, get my lashes done, get my eyebrows mock up later, get my hair done, get some outfits, get, get myself together so I can feel pretty, so I can feel sexy. That way, I don't wanna be sitting here doing a webinar telling girls what to do and in reality, I don't like what's going on in my life. So I'm getting myself together and then we are gonna press play on everything. But I'm excited to get my eyebrows microbladed. I hope she microblades them like this one. This one is a little off. I mean, this one's still cute, but this is perfect. Like, I love this brow right here. I don't know why I couldn't get them to match, but this brow is perfect. I'm hoping she can microblade. The lady that I'm going to is bomb. Like, trust me, I did my research and I even made sure that I paid extra. Like, I was like, yo, you know, I'm not trying to wait in line. You know, we have, we have bosses around here. You know, how much extra do you need to move me up? Private sessions is, are what they're called. My session is tomorrow, actually, and I'm super excited about it. I cannot wait. Mainly because I'm tired of having to wake up every day and do my lashes, do my eyebrows. So it's going to be really interesting to see how she does them and just the fact that I don't have to do my eyebrows every day like that'll be really cool
do you got your mask, Ken? Yes, they are for real, Ken. We need it off. We gonna take it. I'm not. I'm gonna do this. What you gonna do? It's my birthday. It's my birthday, bitch. Like, what the fuck? You can't tell us. Are you confused? Okay, love it. We don't wear masks. Yeah, so we just made it. Yep. <laughs> Y'all, I'm a cancer. <laughs> I am clumsy, as, but I don't know how the phone fell. <laughs> Super, you know I'm going to don't play with me. Oh, Oh my gosh, why is it so steep? <laughs> <laughs> if I would have fell, I would have been mad if you would have fell, bitch. I would have been so fucking mad. Uh -huh. yeah, Homeless are pissing here. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh, man. Oh, this is Right? Oh my god. Miss <laughs> a birthday boy in the house. Yeah, go ahead. Show him out. What's good? You know, he wants some of that. Thanks. I love him. I love all of them. Come on. See? Okay. I've never. Hey y'all, Hat Sugar Baby checking in. So, last night was absolutely ridiculously crazy. You learn a lot about your friends when they get drunk. And I just don't understand some people's, um, their mind. Ken took it upon himself to call somebody a nigger because it was time for us to leave. The black guy told us it's time for us to go and Ken was slurred nigger under his breath right in front of me. I don't care how upset you are. I don't care what's going on inside of you. All the stuff going on right now, that should be one of the last things you're wanting to say to somebody. Like, you're trying to hurt somebody, you're trying, like, I'm sorry, I just can't fuck with that. Like, I immediately went the fuck off on Ken, right in front of everyone. Um, I was like, wait, what the fuck you just say? And I said, say that shit in front of everybody now. Say that shit out loud, what the fuck? You up here calling people niggers and stuff? What the fuck wrong with you? my head talking but like you are black bitch who the fuck is you to call somebody a nigger like that bro i ain't fucking with that shit i ain't fucking with that shit i ain't fucking with somebody that do that the fuck i fuck with i fuck with black men i fuck with black women i fuck like bitch i'm black look at us who, what the fuck you been hanging out with too many white people and the thing about ken is he does that a lot you know, he, he he disrespects black people a lot. He don't like his own skin color. I'm sorry, yeah, you know, I've known Ken for five years. We used to live with each other. That's why I call him my brother. We're both cancers. He's basically like the male version of me. But at the end of the day, no. And then what he did after that was what really set the tone, like where it was like, okay, I'm, I can't fuck with you. Cause you're not gonna sit here and say that and then not apologize and then on top if you apologize and you know i just checked the fuck out you you needed that cool but he didn't apologize and <laughs> shit went crazy bro like literally i was going to find my own ride home home but then i realized bitch i don't know how to do this uber shit i was trying to download uber and it just wasn't fucking working i guess i was drunk and i don't know but 
so I went back over there and I was like, y'all about to take you about to take me home. Like you said what you said, everything went left now. You dropped me off so I can get my car and go. Like that bitch. I fought her at my crib. You feel me? I'm a real ass bitch though. I fought your ass and then took you home. Alright, because I picked you up, you don't got no ride home. Whooped your ass and took your ass the fuck home. You feel me? This they was about to try to leave me. Alright. Whatever, Ken started going crazy, bro. Like doing just doing too fucking much. Like you know what you just did wrong. Say sorry and say you're not gonna do it again. You know, don't start going crazy, acting like crying and screaming. And I pepper sprayed the fuck out of Ken last night. Ken got pepper the fuck sprayed last night. I pepper sprayed the shit he needed. He deserved it. Like you need to chill the fuck out. And then he had two um, of his homegirls with him. His homegirls were trans. They were absolutely gorgeous. The whole night, I was making sure that wasn't nobody, wasn't nobody finna fuck with them. You feel me? Wasn't nobody finna be rude to them. Wasn't nobody finna do nothing. So, for you to sit there and know I was standing up for you all night, you know, because I love trans women. I love them. You know what I mean? Like, Ain't nobody fin I'm not, I'm, I, I don't like bullies So ain't nobody finna bully y'all in front of me Y'all look gorgeous Y'all look better than half these motherfucking women out here So move the fuck on But anyways So we I pepper spray Ken You know his two homegirls We were uh, It was me and his two trans homegirls They were white girls And um you know, they were like, yeah, he needed that and shit like that or whatever. Ken finally went, got his shit together, came back. He was like, I can't see, you know. And I was like, yeah, bitch, I know you can't see, bitch. Yeah, sh sh calm y'all. He calmed down real fucking quick. The fuck? I slapped his ass too at once, I think. He was doing too much. He needed to be fucking slapped. Like, I don't understand what the fuck. I don't, I've never seen him act like that. But, I mean, I have actually once this nigga tried to jump off the balcony and kill himself which he wasn't even gonna kill himself he was just gonna break a leg and i don't know i just can't associate with people like that but then again i see why ken has no friends i see why only four people were at your birthday dinner i see why no one you don't have any friends i see why now because you act like that you know what i mean his his mexican friends were even telling me yeah he doesn't like his skin color we know ken we know everybody knows i'm gonna lay him make sure everybody knows so whatever we get to his white friend, his white homegirl's house to their apartment. They get out, take the keys and everything, and leave me, okay, outside. Like, for, are y'all serious? Ken, are you serious right now? Are you serious, Ken? Ken goes inside. I have footage. I'll insert some footage right now. I have no reason to lie, by the way. Fuck, I get lying. What, what do I get out of this for lying? Ken takes it upon himself to stick his whole body out of their window screaming nigger 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 out of the window when i say all i said was wow i had no idea you can like this bro like who are you trying to offend you're not even offending me my nigga i'm I was even raised around black people. That nigger shit don't offend me. You feel me? The reason why I got upset is the fact that it really just came out of his mouth. And literally just last week, some white man vandalized his car and was calling him niggers. So, what, what's going on, Ken? <laughs> and then you're screaming out of the window, nigger, 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 nigger. The fact he was screaming out of the window was really crazy because, yo, y'all were just, you were just in my, and then his homegirls are going to get on the phone, call me, start talking shit. Hold on. I'm sitting here laughing at this point because I'm like, I was just in the car with y'all. I checked both of the, both of his homegirls, by the way. I told them, shut the fuck up, sit the fuck back. Bitch, you want to be like me, ho? You wish you was a woman like me. Sit the fuck back because they were trying to talk. They were trying to get into it. And I let them know, sit the fuck back, shut the fuck up, I'll beat both y'all ass at the same time. That's how you know you ain't finna bust a grape. I wish I would let a bitch talk to me like that. At that point, I'm finna hit you in your shit. Neither nobody did a bitch, and nobody said shit to me the whole ride to when we got to their apartment. So why all of a sudden are y'all all so bold now? Now y'all are bold 
But whatever, I got my revenge. You got me fucked up. You call me a sis? Not once did you apologize for what you just did. Instead, you go upstairs and start screaming it out of the window. <laughs> He's so lucky that I was in shock because I wish I could have caught the footage of him screaming nigger, 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 nigger. I wish I would have walked over there and start recording him. Like actually get zoom in on his face. Because I would made I would have made I would have sent that video to her apartments and let them know you have people that are living here that allow allowing people to scream out of the window. And two, I would have sent it to Kim's job and got him fired. But you know, I don't have his face on the video, but it's him. It's him, okay? <laughs> like who else is it? It's not those girls. Wow. Wow. Done, he's canceled. I will never fuck with him again. There's so much shit he's done, and I done stuck up for him and held him down. And dude, hell, I will never in my life fuck with you ever the fuck in. Ever. You don't even have enough decency to apologize. He showed it blocked me off everything because I blasted his ass last night on social media. Let everybody know. But I deleted it and took it down because I decided, you know what? I'm gonna do something way better. I'm gonna take that shit to YouTube and really, really make him famous. Cause that's what he needs. He, everybody needs to know who, who he really is. You guys, I don't have no reason to lie. But what am I lying for? For what? Me and you just cooling out of nowhere. I don't fuck with you. I don't lie to you. You could die. You're dead to me now. For what? So I'm lying. I don't say you're just dead to me for no reason. No, nigga, you did what you did. You know what the fuck you did. And that's why not one. I gotta I'll upload all of the text messages. I'm gonna upload screenshots right here for y'all. Not once did he call or text me. Not once. If a motherfucker telling me I call people niggers and I didn't do it, I'd be on the phone getting in No, I didn't. You did, like, bro, what the fuck is your problem? Like, I don't, I'm, I'm tired, my legs hurt. Okay, I was in heels last night trying to find a get a Uber so I could get home. I couldn't figure it the fuck out. I'm done, I'm done with people for right now. I'm gonna be in complete solitude, stay to myself, focus on myself, and keep on building my brand, and keep on building myself, and keep on, keep on growing. I'm not gonna let nobody make me take steps back i'm not gonna let nobody get me in trouble i'm not gonna get in trouble behind nobody so i can't allow myself to associate with the with the people like that so uh, from here on i'm tiptoeing i'm tiptoeing through the garden bro like i can't i'm not making no mistakes i'm 25 years old i'm about to, i'm about to be 26 there's no time for mistakes anymore like, it's over with it You know my knuckles swollen. You know how I get down, y'all. Hey, y'all. Head to your baby checking in. So yesterday, after I talked with y'all, I just had a lot going on in my mind and just physically that I just didn't get back on the camera. But I did go get my eyebrows. My I got them microbladed and I love them. Like I'm very, very picky. So the fact that I even saying that I love these and I'm not bitching and I'm not finding anything wrong, like is really good. So I definitely recommend her. Um, it's called the Lux Lab. Her name is Jessica. She's an amazing girl. She's 25, excuse me. She's an amazing woman. She's 25 years old. She has her own business. I went to her shop. Her shop looks, her shop looks amazing. Like, you see how amazing my couch is? That's her entire shop. Like, her shop is amazing. I love her shop. She's 25. I thought that was so dope that she's out here doing things that people in their 40s are wanting to do and aren't haven't even got it done yet. She's got students. I think it's really awesome. She's cool. I'm really glad that I've met her because that people like that inspire me to stay on my shit because she has a storefront i don't have a storefront i would love to have a storefront one day and so i always want to surround myself with entrepreneurial type energy but yeah definitely go check her out she does amazing brows and today is sunday i'm not really doing too much right now as um, my store is sold out so i only had one order to ship off today which is a, she ordered three masks so I'm gonna go ship those off. I already packaged it up and everything. I have a lot of cool stuff coming. My manifestation guide is about to drop. The manifestation, it's a manifestation kit. You get the guidebook, you get tarot cards, you get 
a regular a white sage a white sage a rose sage you get a chakra crystal healing set you get a chakra healing stick which is really cool it looks amazing and it heals your body it's almost it's really cool i need it i'm getting them i'm even gonna keep a kit for myself because i have a lot of mental issues not mental issues but you know i've been through a lot emotionally and i have scars internal scars and i need to heal myself as well so i'm also gonna keep a kit i'm gonna put all of my energy into making these kits make sure that they're very blessed make sure that the energy that was put into them exudes positivity and and something that could help you heal so i'm definitely going to keep one for myself i have my guidebook the sugar baby guidebook you know the emails i was doing i'm not doing emails anymore mainly because girls get very catty you know somebody will send me money for a guidebook and literally within an hour or two hours start requesting a refund no i will not give them any of my energy i just blow them off like girl you just sent me the money two hours ago wait like you're gonna be on hold till tomorrow so you might as well just go ahead and chill now you know so to stop that they know yo i ordered a book the book is not gonna be here in two hours so that stops that issue with girls and then girls calling my phone like finding my number online to call my phone and blow me up like i just sent you money three hours ago where's my guidebook like no, I'm not doing that anymore. So I decided to do my own book. I'm making the book myself. Here's a little bit of footage of me getting the books ready. I'm making them myself. People don't realize it's 2020. Nowadays, you can really do everything yourself. Um, anything you want done, you can do it yourself. People pay to get things done because they don't know how to do it. So for instance, my eyebrows, I wouldn't microblade my eyebrows myself because I don't know how to do it. But a lot of the stuff that I am doing, I can learn how to do it. So that's why I decided to learn how to make my own book because I'm, why go and get a publish? why make a pub, why go through all these businesses to get a book published? For what? You know, why not start now? And once I've sold so many copies, I, all I have to do is then take my copy, take my book that I made to a professional place and say, here's my book, duplicate it and make it more professional and put it on shelves. But until my book is worthy enough to be on shelves, I can make it myself for now. Hey ladies, so I'm getting ready to make one of my lip glosses and I was like, let me go ahead and record. So I'm about to make my dragon fruit lip gloss. I'm releasing a Sugar Baby Kisses Fruity Box kit. And let me show you the tubes. So these are my fruity box tubes. I plan on dropping a new box like every month. My first box had five glosses in it and I'm still doing that box. I am just, my first inventory, I didn't order a whole bunch. I just did a little bit, mainly because I wanted to see how fast I can sell lip gloss. And of course I sold out of the ones that I have, so I decided to stock up. My next one, I'll have 50 and I'll have 50 of these. This right here is passion fruit. It's like a cute, nice, light purple and it smells so good, girl. I wish I can show you how it smells. I know y'all are wondering, how do I fill up your tubes? I don't work hard, I work smart. I don't do it like most girls do and use a syringe and suck it up and do all that extra stuff in order to get gloss in this tube. I work smart. I put all of my glosses in these containers here with the pipettes on top. And then all I do is get it. Then I start filling them on up. So ladies, don't talk about my dashiki. I know y'all are probably tired of this dashiki, but we all know that I got like 20 of them in the closet. But anyways, back to the point. Ladies, guess what? 
my sugar baby guidebook is finally available for purchase i handmade all of my books myself yes girl i laminated them hole punched them put it together all of that i put these books together myself i have a whole bunch of them made for orders that i've that i've for orders that have already been placed but this is the front show your baby guidebook here is the back this is a free picture that i was allowed to use off of pixar and i just put it all together and you know it's got 10 pages up in there and yes if you're interested what's in the guidebook definitely check out my website at www.malijasboutique.com and yeah so i'm super excited i'm getting these orders packaged up i have these cute little gold millers I already have 20 orders, so girl, we're busy tonight. So let me get started. And these need to get done. These are the books that I made last night. And the reason why I wasn't able to finish making my books last night was because I ran out of laminator paper. Well, I ran out of laminators, I guess, whatever it's called. <laughs> But yeah, it's not much to the packaging. It is just a book, you know. I was going to do thank you cards for them, but I decided not to do thank you cards because I feel like it's just, you know, here's your book. Like, I wanted to save my thank you cards and all that cool packaging for my products. But yeah. So the books just go in here. And that's that. I'm going to send them all off tomorrow. I have eight more that I need to make. And after that, I'll be good to go. Well, no, I think I got a few more orders. As, yeah, I had six orders today, so I actually have eight plus six to make. But then again, at the end of the day, I like to DIY everything. Like, literally, I do everything myself. And when you do it yourself, you actually realize that the process isn't that difficult. So, the process for making this book really wasn't that difficult. The most difficult thing is putting your words together and making sure everything is correct. But then again, at the end of the day, we have iPhones, you know, technology makes it so hard to misspell anything. If you have a book out and your everything is misspelled, you literally just didn't give a fuck. Anyways, I have my labels in the right order, you know, from the first person that ordered, that way I have all the orders go out at the right time. That way I don't have, she ordered first and she ordered last, but her order goes out first and her order goes out last. You feel me? I want it all to go in the order that they came in, so. waited for times like this like i'm so excited like y'all have no idea like i have literally waited for times like this like i have to send out all of my books tomorrow and this is so awesome like, i love you ladies so much i hope y'all know that like i may not have time to talk to all of you you know but i want y'all all to know that i love you so much and i'm really thankful and grateful that y'all trust me with your money trust me with your knowledge and just trust me with your product like trust me enough to invest in me and know that what you're getting is worth your money and not even that it's worth beyond because knowledge really is priceless and that's really why i don't charge much for my knowledge and that's why i decided to put my knowledge in a book that way you can buy it for 25 dollars, 30 dollars you know something something that you can learn and and know what I know and then also with my webinars you can meet me talk to me because I don't always have time to respond back to everyone so with my webinars if you really want to communicate with me with my webinars you're able to sign up and talk to me one-on-one -on -one. there's 10 people in one class so everybody's gonna be able to go around and talk to me ask me questions all type of stuff and then my group chat you know it's a community of a whole bunch of sugar babies in the same lifestyle and y'all can all help each other of course I'm not able to be in the group chat all the time because I'm busy throughout the day but it's really for y'all ladies to have fun and connect with each other and I love y'all so much this isn't even half of the orders i still have all of these that i have to get out um that i put them in the wrong order did i well they're going out at the same time anyway so 
I still have all these. I have six more that I have to print out. Like I have so many orders to get out tomorrow. I'm really excited about this. I cannot wait. I love you ladies so much. I'm gonna go walk my dogs. Mwah. Bitch!